Hi, Cod. Yeah, you were first. Well, I mean, technically Satan was, but I was asking him to uh, test something real quick. Hi, Rebirth. Just wanted to say, have a good stream. Gotta go to bed. All right, Rebirth. Thank you so much for stopping by. New phone, who needs? I don't even got that. My phone's so new, I don't even got caller ID. Um, I don't know. If you guys want me to hop on COD, I can. Uh, I didn't have a day. I slept. I haven't been sleeping well. Ew. Blech. I'm sorry you had a bad day. Excuse me, I have to mute myself for the vomit that's coming out. I hope your next day is good, though. I wish people had the forest. Um, you're gonna have to elaborate, Hector. I haven't been in school for over a decade. Like literally 12 years. 12 to 13 years I haven't been in school. I don't know what a one or a two on your sheet is. that game <coughs> would rather throw myself into a burning fire she got mad at me and my brother for not being on the line when the sports teacher already put us on a team ah. hi raymond i haven't been called godness in a while it's a clipboard I have, and I need to get it signed by my teachers at the end of their class. Oh, is it for like sports? That sounds like a football thing, or basketball. I 
I could be wrong. A1 is three or more reminds I it. A2 is I needed to. one. So reminder. I can be close A3 to is no reminders it's needed. Really simple if you look at it that way. I didn't even know uh, we had a Pokemon in chat. I have a video about... Um, so there's a video. I remember mentioning it to you guys yesterday. I said there was a video that explained how Molly Weasley killed uh, Bellatrix. Um, like what spells she used. So give me a second. I wanna, I want I'm still, like, still eating. I'm a slow eater. But I wanted to show that video to you guys. Give me a second. No, you're close. It's a in school, not after school club. Ah, okay. I, I was in clubs, but, yeah. We'll be right back. You gotta give me a second. Too complicated. Okay. to get it where it's not crazy okay uh so there's this video where she i wanted i wanted to show this for anybody that was curious eat there's something coming let's face it together engage your crew Part of you. So it's a theory. Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a topic that has been requested a lot in the comment section. I had made a video on this topic previously, but that was near the beginning of the channel, and I didn't do a very good job of it. So now I'm here for redemption. The subject of today's video is... How did the motherly, nurturing, and caring Molly Weasley defeat the powerful, infamous, and feared Bellatrix the Strange? Amidst the total chaos of the Battle of Hogwarts, there were many iconic moments, but there was one in particular that stuck out to me, as it put the power of love on display in totality. Jets of light flew left and right, and witches and wizards fought all over the place, but in one area of the castle, there was a showdown that meant everything for one person. That person was Molly Weasley. The caring, tender mother of the Weasley family and stand-in mother for Harry Potter had found herself battling with one of the most feared witches in the wizarding world, Bellatrix the Strange. Bellatrix's fear-inspiring name and bloodthirsty reputation were well-deserved, and she was known to have murdered and tortured numerous witches and wizards, including Neville Longbottom's parents. Her magical capabilities were more than impressive, and she was widely considered to be one of the most powerful and dangerous witches of her time. Mm -hmm. Bellatrix was also one of, if not Voldemort's most loyal follower, as well as his most powerful follower, after Snape. However, Snape wasn't a genuine follower. She was a frightening pure-blood witch that came from the Black family, a long line of powerful witches and wizards with a twisted agenda. She was personally responsible for murdering Sirius Black and Infradora Tonks, and Hell she yeah. showcased an affinity for the Cruciatus Curse. And it displayed and considerable knowledge matter. in the realm Good of the God. dark arts. Not only that, I forgot to re download Fortnite, jewelist, so there's charms that. Charms expert, powerful Occlumens, and tenacious warrior. Molly Weasley was, well, Molly Weasley. A motherly figure known for her love and her ability to nurture and care for those that she was close to. She was never stated to possess any sort of insane magical power, but what she did have was an edge, a side of her that didn't come out very often. This edge, of course, only came out when those that she loved were in danger. 
and in the Battle of Hogwarts, Bellatrix and his other side of Molly were introduced. To set the scene, Bellatrix was first fighting Hermione, Luna and Ginny. The three young witches, collaborating together, were equalizing with Bellatrix. But when Bellatrix shot a killing curse that was so close to Ginny that she missed death by an inch, Molly had to step in. She had had enough. Mm -hmm. Let's explore the text further. Not my daughter, you... yelled Molly. Mm, Mrs. You Weasley bitch. threw off her cloak as she ran, freeing her arms. Bellatrix spun on the spot, roaring with laughter at the sight of her new challenger. Out of my way, shouted Mrs. Weasley to the three girls, and with a swipe of her wand, she began to duel. Harry watched with terror and elation as Molly Weasley's wand slashed and twisted, and Bellatrix the stranger's smile faltered and became a snarl. Jets of light flew from both wands. The floor around the witch's feet became hot and cracked. Both women were fighting to kill. Mm -hmm. What will happen to your children when I've killed you? taunted Bellatrix, as mad as her master, capering as Molly's curses danced around her. When mummy's gone, the same way as Freddy, you will never touch our children again, screamed Mrs. Weasley. Bellatrix laughed, the same exhilarated laugh her cousin Sirius had given as he toppled backward through the veil. And suddenly, Harry knew what was going to happen before it did. Molly's curse soared beneath Bellatrix's outstretched arm and hit her squarely in the chest, directly over her heart. Bellatrix's gloating smile froze. Her eyes began to bulge. For the tiniest space of time, she knew what had happened. And then she toppled, and the watching crowd roared, and Voldemort screamed. And just like that, Molly Weasley defeated the infamous Bellatrix the Strange. But other than being on the receiving end of a curse, what actually caused Bellatrix to die? What curse did Molly use? In the Stupidity. film, why did Bellatrix explode? We all know that Avada Kedavra is the killing curse, and that it would be the obvious spell choice that one might use when wanting to kill someone. Um. But the text doesn't ever indicate that this is the spell that she used. In the books, when someone uses Avada Kedavra, it almost always describes it as a green jet of light, and in this instance, it just wasn't the case. To further argue that it wasn't Avada Kedavra that she used, we need to remember that Avada Kedavra is one of the unforgivable curses. Yeah. Not only is the use of these curses punishable, but then their existence Real is frowned upon <laughs> by regular witches and wizards. Yeah, we're d Molly I'm just telling just everybody what Molly used, used to kill uh, Bellatrix. As I feel that by using it, she may feel that she is stooping to the level of the bad guys. Additionally, Avada Kedavra just doesn't fit here. So, if we're pretty sure she hell? didn't use Avada Kedavra, how did Bellatrix actually Hey, that's die? my line! Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Molly's curse soared beneath Bellatrix's outstretched arm and hit her squarely in the chest, directly over her heart. If it wasn't a lethal spell that Molly used, then to me it would suggest that the placement of the spell was the leading factor in Bellatrix's death. Stunning spells are popular Why? among witches and wizards, and in my eyes, there are two possible non-murderous spells that Molly could have used. The less likely spell being a well-positioned Petrificus Totalis. Petrificus Totalis is also known as the Full Body Bind Curse, and essentially freezes, paralyzes your enemy. My thought process here is that because the spell hit Bellatrix directly above her heart, it could have frozen her heart and stopped her from pumping blood, effectively killing her. Maybe. And while this does check out for the most part, I feel that it is more likely that Molly used Stupefy. Stupefy is both the quintessential spell that one might use to stun and one of the signature spells of the good guys. A well-positioned Stupefy could have done just what Petrificus Totalis would have done, stopping her heart and ending her life. However, there's always the possibility that Molly simply used a spell that we don't know about. Maybe. In the Harry Potter universe, there are probably thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of spells that have been introduced since the dawn of magic, and I'm willing to bet that most modern day witches and wizards only know a fraction of them. There's a whole restricted section in the Hogwarts library filled with books on magic that witches and wizards aren't supposed to touch. Why? If we go by Why the have it if you can't touch it? Bellatrix was defeated, it's clearly quite powerful magic. She basically freezes and then blows up. It's like a Petrificus Totalis and a Bombarda Maxima all in one. Mm. But whether there's a one spell solution for this result or not is anyone's guess. In fact, if we look at her death in the film, and I know that the book is a much better way to dissect this scene, she actually does use nice two spells, a white spell that could very well be Petrificus Totalis, and then a red spell, which could very well be Bombarda, or perhaps Dimco even Reducto. Work. What Did we have to remember about right Molly code? Weasley is that before she was Molly Weasley, caring mother figure, she was Molly Pruitt, a witch that came from a long line of powerful witches and wizards. 
I'm more than willing to bet that Mrs. Weasley is a lot more than meets the eye, and just because she's unassuming, it doesn't mean that she doesn't know a lot of powerful magic. After all, Molly Weasley mm. destroyed Bellatrix the Strange. That's the only thing that comes to and mind. And that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to support the channel. What spell do you think Molly used? Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, let's 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 watch this. Watch cable free live TV. Because I apparently news, used shows, already. And more. YouTube TV. Terms apply. Cancel any time. You better you better talk that out. That's not good. Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Let me start off by saying a big thank you to all of you for all of your support with the channel this past couple of months. In this Stop. video, we're going Stop. to be addressing the question, how did Harry's Expelliarmus match Voldemort's Abada Kedavra in the graveyard scene in the Goblet of Fire? What's interesting about this scene is that it almost suggests that Harry is Voldemort's equal, but that is really not the case. So. How did he contend with the Dark Lord himself? As we know, this scene marks the proper return of Lord Voldemort after a long hiatus. Before this point in time, Voldemort had still been trapped in other, weaker forms. First, a wisp-like form, and then his rudimentary form, a form that Ew. only barely gave him a physical presence. As we know, the Goblet of Fire outlines the events of the Triwizard Tournament. A tournament that Harry ah, was competing game. in as a representative for Nostalgia. Hogwarts. What Harry did not know, however, was that while participating in the tournament, he was being given a winner's advantage. One of Voldemort's followers, Barty Crouch Jr., did everything in his power to ensure that Harry would end up a winner in the hedge maze, and turned the Triwizard Cup into a port key. This port key would lead to Little Hangleton, the same place that Voldemort was undergoing his transformation into his proper form. More specifically, it was the graveyard of Little Hangleton, the burial ground of Voldemort's father, Tom Riddle Sr. Their location was of particular importance in this setting, right, as it right. played an integral role in Voldemort's return Sorry, guys. to a proper physical form. Was you see, Voldemort could not truly return until he was given a regeneration potion, an ancient dark potion that helps restore wizards to their bodies. It just so happened that Little Hangleton was the location of one of the most important ingredients in the potion, Bone of Father. The potion as a whole required three ingredients, Bone of Father, Flesh of Servant, and Blood of Foe. To create this potion, Wormtail and what Barty about the Jr. helped Voldemort source these ingredients. They were able to create the potion successfully by using Wormtail's flesh, Voldemort's father's bone, and Harry's blood. All of the ingredients were then placed inside of a cauldron, and Voldemort's rudimentary form was placed inside. Harry's blood being in the potion is an important part of this video, hmm. so remember that. When Harry first arrives in the graveyard, Cedric came along with him. However, Cedric didn't last long, as he was Real nearly immediately struck with the Nevada Kedavra cast by Pettigrew on Voldemort's command. As you can imagine, Harry was not having a good time. After assuming <laughs> his new all-powerful form, Voldemort summons an array of Death Eaters and begins to address Harry. Voldemort, in typical Voldemort fashion, begins his monologue and essentially proclaims that Harry's survival 13 years prior was purely a fluke. I think that Voldemort was doing this weird peacocking to prove to the Death Eaters that he was still powerful and that he wouldn't be outdone again. Or would he? Voldemort then ordered Wormtail to release Harry, then gave him his wand, effectively initiating a duel with Harry. You have been taught how to duel, Harry Potter. We bow to each other, Harry. Come, the niceties must be observed. Dumbledore would like you to show manners. Bow to death, Harry. After taunting Harry and asking him to bow, he eventually used the Imperious Curse on him, forcing him to bow. Shortly after that, he performed another of the unforgivable curses on Harry, the Cruciatus Curse. Initially, Harry tried to escape and found himself hiding behind a gravestone. However, he quickly realized that he would have to stay and fight, understanding that there was no easy way out of this situation. Additionally, so he was wild. angry about the murder of Cedric and wanted to exact revenge. Harry stepped out from behind the gravestone and immediately started uttering his incantation. Expelliarmus, he yelled, pointing his wand towards Voldemort. 
However, just as Harry cast his spell, Voldemort cast his own. Avada Kedavra, he screamed. The spells collided. So, what happened next? Well, let's start with the passage from the book. A jet of green light issued from Voldemort's wand, just as a jet of red light blasted from what Harry's. Is the red, what is they the red? What, what did Harry use? And suddenly Harry's wand was vibrating, as though an electric charge was surging through it. His hand seized up around it. Ugh. He couldn't have released it if he'd wanted to, and a narrow beam of light connected the two wands, neither red nor green, but bright. And the beam Ooh, of light connecting me. their ones. Why are they showing the game? Webbed dome. At this point in time, Voldemort commands the Death Eaters not to interfere. Voldemort, unsure Hello, of what okay. is happening, frantically attempts to break the connection between the ones, oh, but is unsuccessful. Fuck, 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 Harry who is also unaware of what exactly is happening, Go gets the impression way. that he cannot let the connection between the ones break, <sighs> despite it being progressively harder and harder to maintain. <sighs> Beads of light hurts. move up the web dome toward the Harry, and hurts. he gets the feeling that he cannot let those beads contact his wand, so he focuses his mind on pushing them back toward Voldemort. After concentrating like he never had in his life, Harry managed to Ooh, force one sorry of the about beads that. back onto Voldemort's Yay! wand. This resulted God, we got in it. his wand emitting echoing screams. We got a caterpillar! I'm just kidding. Harry sees an apparition of Wormtail's silver hand, and next, a ghost-like apparition of Cedric Diggory. And then he sees more faces. Cedric, along with Frank Price and Bertha Jorkins, instruct <coughs> Harry to keep fighting. Next, Harry's mother, Lily Potter, appears, also encouraging Harry to hold on. She tells Harry to wait for his father, and the other, Shades, begin to distract Voldemort. When James finally appears, he tells Harry that they will be able to linger and keep Voldemort away for a short time, but not for long, and that he should try and move toward the portkey. At this point in time, Harry effectively breaks the connection between the two ones and makes a run for the portkey. Just as Voldemort begins to raise his wand, Harry shouts a summoning <laughs> chant, bringing what him kind of staggering was that? that he uses to escape, just in the nick of time. So, what happened there? We know that Voldemort is using Avada Kedavra. Yeah. So, how is Harry able to defend himself against it? We first learn about the properties of Avada Kedavra in the Goblet of Fire. In His class, head looks Moody, hella actually Barter Crouch Jr., is teaching the class about the unforgivable curses and clearly states that. Um, yeah, I played it for a little bit, but, um. Mm. It, it was laggy a little bit, so then Koa helped me with settings, and it worked a little bit, but my stream kept crashing, so it's just trial and error. There is no way to fend off the killing curse. I'm going to try sure, to play it again for a little bit. you can block Avada Kedavra by moving objects in its path, but blocking it with counter spells? That's supposed to be out of the question. Let's just kick things off by saying that Voldemort was not yet in possession of the Elder Wand, so that wasn't really a factor to consider. In other scenes, like in the Battle of Hogwarts, Harry being the true owner of the Elder Wand, while Voldemort was in its possession, meant that Harry had the upper hand. However, in the graveyard... Clear blue tracks your two key fertility hormones to typically Why? identify... Why? What are you trying to tell me? YouTube, I'm not pregnant! That wasn't the case. Ah! So, again, how did Harry's meager Expelliarmus match Voldemort's unforgivable killing curse? The answer to this question Yo, YouTube be is trying to fuck at him, you guys. and comes down to a couple of things. The first thing is, once again, his mother. Lily Potter miraculously bails Harry out again with her unyielding love. Or at least that's part of it. As we know, Voldemort used a regeneration potion to reconstruct his body. One ingredient of this potion was blood of foe, which basically means that Voldemort used Harry's blood to reconstruct his body. This also would have been the same blood that belonged to Lily, Harry's mother. When reconstructing his body, Voldemort thought that this would work to his advantage, and that it would shield him from Lily's same sacrificial protection that destroyed him many years prior. Yeah, good he also luck. thought that this meant that he would be baby, able to sorry, properly baby. attack Harry. <laughs> what happened <laughs> what instead was that he rendered Harry the only person capable of killing him, and turned himself into a horcrux of sorts for Harry. Ew. This meant that as long as he was alive, that facial, oh die. god. So that's the first reason. Someone gave bond. birth to a really, the really reason skinny comes faced down to person. One is that's once again. Although Voldemort was not yet in possession of the Elder Wand, 
he did possess his wand, which actually happens to share the same core as Harry's wand. Voldemort's wand was the brother wand to Harry's, so to speak. You might remember Ollivander alluding to this in the Philosopher's yes. Stone. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. And it just so happens that the phoenix, whose tail Black feather Blackie, can you stop your scratching wand, yourself? Gave another feather. Either get up or just eat. Just one other. It is curious that you should be what destined for this wand Come here. when its brother gave you that scar. Come here. What can occur when two brother ones go into contact Come with here. each other is a phenomenon called Come. priori incantatum. Up. It is also known as the reverse spell effect. This is exactly what happened to Harry and Voldemort in the Goblet of Fire. Blackie, up. Come on. If two you wizards are fighting right each here. other Come and on. this occurs, they are effectively locked Blackie. into a battle of wills. The spells become intertwined when they meet, and a connection is hard to break. At this point, the wand of the weaker combatant will begin to display in a ghostly format have, like, the spells that have been cast by said wand, uh, in order of most well. recent to least recent. Uh, right? This is the reason that Harry's parents appeared. And the reason I mean, this game's not bad. The physical world. They just made uh, when the Robert meet, Pattinson like, look weird. The dome effect mentioned earlier, which acts as a safeguard to prevent other witches and wizards from intervening. The golden thread connecting Harry and Voldemort splintered, though the so ones remain connected. connected. A, a thousand, thousand more beams are tied tie over Harry and Voldemort, mm -mm -mm. crisscrossing all around them, until they are enclosed in a golden dome-shaped web, a cage of light. So, for those two reasons, Harry was both safe from Voldemort and even beat him in a way through exactly. having a Hella stronger will. Man, it's look not like a just about He's a Lego. Spell is. You're a Lego, Harry. And this Harry. is just a perfect example of that. Blackie! Instance in which a Can you stop? Expel at the I'll put shoes on you. Is able to best Avada Kedavra. And that's it for this video. I hope that answers the question. If you enjoyed the content, please remember to like the video. Alright, let me see if I can play this game. Oh boy. I had so much fun playing on it. And uh, it's funny though, because for anybody that doesn't know, it's 69.6 .6 gigabytes. <laughs> I thought that was funny. 69.6. Okay. Oop. to go with it better fucking work oh come on don't be slow um, pregnant at 13 my story updated details i've never told before what's luna's big secret yeah i want to know what's my big secret all right just gonna take a few oh boy oh boy he won a lottery in hell and has a hundred days on earth and a new body. Mm, sounds about right. The story of Ek, the Dementor's creator. Hmm. Who creates Dementors? Why would you want to fucking do that? They look like they all they do is suck dick. Lucky, why do you have to constantly pace? Come on, bro. Oh, I should probably get off of Discord. That might actually help. Possibly. You can get up the stairs. Get out of my trash. Here. I didn't realize you could, uh, you can walk through bags. We can play fast mode or the forest or something whenever I'm on run PC, or I can play college with you whenever you know. Um, phasmophobia. I'd have to relearn how to play. Uh, Sons of the Forest is coming out tomorrow, so I'm gonna be on that, most likely on Friday. Uh, COD. I've actually been having a lot of fun with i currently don't have fortnite installed uh, i gotta remind myself to reinstall that for the people in my community who are drug addicts to it um <coughs> trying to get this game to work personally hey yo steam mystery fest 
Hey, what's up, Blue? You don't have to play uh, the forest. I I know you don't like scary stuff. My nose hurts. Hey, <sighs> living the dream. Wait, what's up, pumpkin? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you guys for being so patient. Uh, my Steam is being hella fucking slow. My game is being hella fucking slow. It is loaded up, but um. You're going to have to bear with me just, just a little bit. So, I'm going to do exactly what Koa told me.